as the Birmingham Stallions kick it off to the Tampa Bay Bandits here to start this action in week four. Derek Dillon returns it out across the 35-yard line. Vincent Papali of the uh, movie Invincible Fame is the first run by B.J. Emmons. They hand it off again. Emmons gets the first down and brought down by Brody Buck. On third and seven, Tom hangs in there, throws it up for O'Brady, but they don't make the connection on the kick. The reigning special teams player of the week in the USFL puts Tampa Bay up. Marable out of the backfield again with a block downfield. His job at that position. So it's now second and nine. Magoo brought down for the sack. Travis Feeney gets him. It's in four games. Here comes the pressure from the right side, and he goes down it again. Back-to-back -back sacks by the bandit defense. This time is Greg Reeves. Jaron Jones was playing, but he comes down and blocks to his left and leaves the defensive end totally free. You won't get an easier sack than that. And try to recognize what's going on. He keeps it this time to Amu. He's a good runner and quarterback. What about the rest of the outfit? Here on third and five. Tamu looking downfield, lofts it up. Dylan trying to adjust, draws the flag. Here comes the pressure. Low snap. Tamu got it, but lost the handle on it. We re grip the football, and it falls incomplete. Tamu pressure gets away. Finds a man downfield, that's his tight end, Cheyenne O'Grady, and he gets the first down. Looking for the 42. Oh, miscommunication. That pass almost picked off by Josh Shaw. Papali's going to come in right over here, number 13, and he's going for him, and it's open. He just never looks back. Where is he looking? First down from the 34. Tony Brooks James slips a tackle. We've seen him do that a couple of times tonight. And really what we saw him do a lot when he was a college player at Oregon. And the zone read would be there for the QB. Here comes the blitz. Quick pass by Magoo. Darius with the catch. And just enough for the first. From the Tampa 39. The keeper by Magoo. Slid just before the first down marker. The handoff by Maribo fighting and looks like he's going to be short. Right? So it's like no play. So they you just, think they're trying to draw him off? Just trying to draw him off and now they'll call a play and go for it. And Maribo fights, but I don't think he got it. Going to be stopped just short, I think, by Reggie Howard. A decision like that. Oh, I just disagree. It's I like your parents you told you there. There's all two wrongs don't make a right. Well... Uh, a personal foul, unnecessary roughness, number six, defense. 15 yard penalty from the previous from the end of the, from the previous spot, it's first down. That's on the linebacker, Christian Sam, number six. So he's locked up with the offensive line. Maybe grabbing the face mask there. That's what the personal foul was called for. It's been an issue. To get half the distance to the goal. Bolden working on the backfield. That ball just a little bit off the mark. Forced him to go up to grab it and just couldn't get his balance correct. Look at that formation. Tony Brooks James cuts it back. Gets the first down. Keeps fighting all the way down to the two yard line. Omaha, ready, set. Bolden goes in motion. They hand it to him. They fake it. And Magoo keeps it, going to be stopped just shy of the goal line. Omaha, Omaha, ready, set. Quarterback sneak, Magoo fighting, he reached out. And with that second effort, no signal yet. And they're calling it a touchdown. So see that shot there right before the elbow hits? Oh, we've seen it. I think we. 
Maybe another frame. Yeah, I think we have to stay with it. We don't have enough to overturn it. I'm looking for the 41. They get it. Pass caught. Good enough for the first down. Reverse flea flicker. Tom wide open on the sideline is O'Grady. And the big tight end rumbles inside the 10 yard line. Tamu with time. To the end zone, diving. The pass is caught, and they're calling it a touchdown. Ready, set. A handoff to CJ Marable, first down and more. Marable all the way down to the 39 yard line of Tampa Bay, a gain of 13. Quick pass out to Bolden. Dancing, falling forward, and he got across the first down marker. And he should have made that team, but they were loaded at linebacker. Aren't they always? <laughs> yes, they are. Here's Magoo bringing it down. Gonna dive and take a little body blow in the process. Rashard Causey with the tackle, who's been perfect so far this season. This will be his longest attempt from 39 yards out, and he remains perfect. Ready, set. A handoff to C.J. Marable, first down and more. Marable all the way down to the 39-yard line of Tampa Bay, a gain of 13. Quick pass out to Bolden. Dancing, falling forward, and he got across the first down marker. He should have made that team, but they were loaded at linebacker. Aren't they always? <laughs> yes, they are. Here's Magoo bringing it down. Gonna dive and... A little body blow in the process for Shard Causey with the tackle, who's been perfect so far this season. This will be his longest attempt from 39 yards out, and he remains perfect. They get that penalty on Damian Mama, and this is not what you want to do. Kick into Victor Bolden with your heels on the back end of the goal line. Quick punt by Brandon Wright. Good punt by Brandon Wright. Bats Bolden up, but he's got running room. Oh, a big hit. Feeney laid out Bolden, and Feeney is slow to get up. up. A little bit. And Magoo brought down for the sack. And as he's working his way to the quarterback, Magoo's trying to get that ball down the field of Bolden, and he should have thrown it. Bolden had a win. That ball's got to get up and out. Before the pressure can get there, Magoo has got to release that ball. It was designed to go to Victor Bolden. Four sacks tonight than they had all season coming into the evening. Magoo fires, and it's dropped. Right into the breadbasket of Bolden. Drive is starting at the 27, loses four yards. But Brandon Aubrey comes in, and he's he's perfect. Look at this guy. Tomer. Open on the sideline, an easy catch. Made by Vinny Papali. Tomer. That ball may have been tipped, intended for B.J. Emmons, who's punching the ground in frustration. First and ten. Magoo over the middle, wide open and caught. Victor Bolden. Here comes the blitz. It's picked up. Right in the empty spot is Marlon Williams. First down, Birmingham. Magoo looking that way. Diving and caught. Bolden grabs it. They're saying it touched the ground. It's a noisy incompletion on third and 11. Here's McGoo. Almost intercepted. Right off the chest of TJ Neal. Played college football at Wofford, and this one just hits him square in the chest. It's like clockwork. Man, not even concerned. 40 yard attempt. Yep. And for the first time this year, he misses. He gets it out to Dylan again. He gets the first down and more. Gets around the corner and into Birmingham territory. Draw play. And that's Tiamu showing what he can do with his legs. Nowhere to go, Emmons. 
running a long way. Tommy tries to give him a block, but it won't spring him. Here's the snap. That's wide right. Down three. First down here for the Bandits, and Tommy brings it down. Pass ball along the sideline. Here comes the blitz. It's pretty right. Bringing the pressure, and he gets there for another sack. Magoo fires. Open. Bolden inside the 20. 19 yards on the pass play. And now it's third and five. Magoo steps up. Saves Surratt. His first catch of the season. And it couldn't be more timely. First and goal from the seven. Marable. Bottled up at the line of scrimmage as defensive front gets pressure. Dalen Mack once again in the backfield to run off the clock. Here's Marable again. Pushing his way down to about the two-yard line. We'll see what happens on third down as Magoo pulled it back and Travis Feeney pulled him down. Here we go. Aubrey settles down and puts it right through the middle. And now the lead is six. Fourth and 12. Under pressure. Out of the backfield. Emmons, can he get out of bounds? No. That'll do it. Hey, it's Shea Patterson. Thanks for watching this USFL video. For the best USFL fan experience, subscribe below and gain access to the best football content on planet Earth.